PSG had the chance to extend their lead at the top of the table after the rest of the top four had drawn. And it was excitement with the return of Eminem, Mbappe, Neymar Jr. and Lionel Messi, the World Cup winner, giving some time off after playing in Paris' friendly in Saudi Arabia. But back to the starting 11. Christophe Gautier remained tight-lipped on reports Inter Milan's Martin Scherner was going to join the club in the summer. The coach had said they are looking for a wide player. There's yeah, Shirky, one of many names linked in the papers. Laurent started the day 10 places and 22 points worse off than the leaders. Yet you wouldn't have known so. Gianluigi Donnarumma was the busier of the two stoppers. In fact, at the other end, Yusuf Diouf only had one shot on target to deal with. To Rance's nine. Well, Marco Verratti soon was introduced for Vitinha. Well, still, though, very hopeful. His Rance side drew nil-nil with Paris Saint-Germain at home in a match. And the Parisians ended with ten men. But it was looking good when Neymar nimbly put Paris Saint-Germain into the lead just six minutes after the restart. Messi the instigator, but the brilliant Brazilian putting Juf on his backside. That's his 12th of the season, just one shy of 13 from last. But then the controversial moment, although on second viewings, not controversial at all. VAR looking back at that challenge. Marco Verratti, who came on at halftime, was off before the hour mark. Sergio Ramos sent off in the reverse fixture. Verratti this time. The Spaniard remaining on the field, but couldn't stumble away. What would have been a clinching goal, and that meant Paris were only a goal ahead. And incredibly, with the last kick of the match, Florian Balogun sent Will Stills and the Stade Renoir wild. An incredible finale. And considering the chances Rance had made on the night, little more than they deserved. There was only enough time to kick back off. A huge result for 30 year old coach Will Still. The first man to shut out Paris this season in the reverse fixture. Now grabbing a point at Le Parc, Christophe Gautier with plenty to ponder.